looking at you. Nope. I'm not looking at you while I do this. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Everybody, Teresa here with somebody over here. Somebody over here. Hello? No, I cannot look at you. You must look at me. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking at you. You must look at me. Why do I have to look at you? Because you have to. It's not necessary. Yes, it is. People can go their whole married life and not look at each other. No. Yes. No. What? I looked, okay? Now I'm looking back. With? Mr. Heidi. Oh, God. Is he pathetic? Anyway, with Mr. Heidi, Brad, and the critters. Right, Charlie? <gasps> Charlie. <laughs> you feel my pain, don't you, Charlie? Yes. Charlie. You feel my pain. Charlie. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. There you go. Charlie, go woo, woo, woo. <laughs> That guy, you tell dad. You tell dad. You're so, he's a silly boy today. Well, Brad is too. But, <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> We've been packing a lot. So, you know, I'm just delirious with happiness over having tape stuck everywhere, I think. Yeah. Can you, oh, what are you doing, Brad Heidi? What are you doing? Sitting here. Why? Just wallowing in my face. <laughs> oh my god. Why are you crying now? Because why? You didn't want to look at me. <laughs> That's not the first time I haven't wanted to look at you. Oh. And I didn't want to look at your clean microwave either. Oh. He's, 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 he's beside himself. No, because I'm, not. I'm beside Charlie. I have not looked at his clean microwave. I haven't had to use a clean microwave, so I haven't looked at it. I've been hearing about how dirty the microwave is. You haven't was. cleaned it in like eight years. <laughs> no, <laughs> not eight years. We haven't even had it eight years. Charlie? <coughs> Are you hungry? <coughs> okay, it's enough now. Calm yourself down. Okay, you, he has a flannel handkerchief now on his little neck. Right? Okay, the only thing little on you is your brain. Not you, Brad, the dog. <laughs> Such a wow. comedian! You get this whole comedy act for free. Yeah. Aren't you lucky? Charlie and Heidi. Charlie? God. Go out in the kitchen with your father. Charlie. You're naughty. Charlie? Wow. You and your dog. Now he's your dog all of a sudden. We have boxes everywhere, people. I, yeah, you guys are like, is she just going to sit there and, and mess around? Yeah, probably. Anyway, it is October 2nd, 2020. It's Friday evening. Friday evening at 7.20 p.m. All of this talent, all of this just for you. Stick with the artwork, right, Brad? <laughs> I told him. I found a newspaper article of when I was in high school. Yes, look at the hair. Okay, this is blood, sweat, and tears. All, yeah, right here. <laughs> anyway. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I never can get her to shut up either. What? What do you want? <laughs> you need to just <laughs> Charlie and Heidi. No. No. Don't garf at me. Why are you garfing your mom? No. You bad dog, Charlie. Charlie, you bad. Wait till Berkelopolis comes over. It's 72 degrees. Feels like 72. 
The high day was 77. The low tonight will be 55. Partially cloudy. It is 37% humidity, which is low for humidity here. Wow. It's wind is 5 miles per hour from the north. Sunrise was at 7.32 a.m. Sunset was at 7.21 p.m., which is exactly what time it is right now. Wow! Isn't that pretty cool? That is. <laughs> and tomorrow will be basically kind of the same. So no rain today. No rain. And yes, look at my hair. It looks just lovely, don't it? Mm-hmm. We have boxes everywhere. We can find nothing. Anything that I, I want, that I might need, is packed. Everything I don't need is not packed. Both, most, I would say, what do you say? Uh, probably three-fourths of the house is packed now? I think so. We have our neighbor coming over to help pack tomorrow. We're going to pay him. And we're giving him our worship with the, spin, the spinner on it that my friend Carol gifted us when we moved in here. And they don't have a, a washing machine in their trailer. And they're super nice people. We really like them. They're the ones that lost their trailer um, to a fire and then got moved to another one. And uh, so we're going to give them that one. Because we've used it for two and a half years and they might well get some good use out of it. So, uh, yeah, that'll be good for them. Um, and, yeah, we've been busy packing, 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 and packing. And packing. Packing, packing, packing. And packing, and packing, and packing. Got in some more face shields. I like those face shields. I don't know if you guys have, you guys I'm sure have seen people, some people wearing them around where you live. They are the face shields that are like this, and you, they have elastic on, you know, one side, and so you just put them on like this, and they work great, and I really like them because, like, I'm an asthmatic, and at first I was okay with the mask, but since I've been having breathing problems, I can't get, there's too much carbon dioxide that builds up in that mask, and I can't. It dropped my numbers and stuff, so um, the face shields are much better for me. Um, so um, I ordered in five more of them because I left one on. Don't leave them on the dashboard of your vehicle because the sun does warp them. So uh, yeah, so I got in five more and I was putting them up so they can be, you know, in a. I can take them with us on our trip. So they're in here, and I have all of my other paper ones and stuff, and, and cloth ones and stuff that Brad wears in another envelope, Manila envelope. Uh, it's important that you have that stuff. And um, I voted a few things for our personal bathroom, like some new rugs and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and use the rugs that we have for the bathroom. Uh, the secondary bathroom, there's two full bathrooms in this mobile home. Um, so the secondary bathroom, I'm going to go ahead and use my shower curtain um, and my uh, rugs and stuff. There's nothing wrong with them, so I'll use those there. It'll save me some money not having to completely do two whole um, bathrooms. I'll have to get a shirt, shower curtain rod for that. When we bought one of those extended ones, you know, that comes out and around, which is so nice. I never knew those would be so nice until we stayed at a La, La Quinta motel in our travels, and it had one of those, and it was, sure was nice. It was very, very nice. You know, and, um, uh, no, I guess that was the red. That was the red. Was it the red roof in? That was the red roof in that okay. had that. The La Quinta had the shower bench in it, which I didn't know they made them like that. So we have since purchased one. They're only like thirty dollars, and it just it's it's a concave shower chair. It's like a bench, so it doesn't have 
the sides to it. So that makes it really nice and open, especially for us larger people. And, you know, um, you know, the legs are adjustable to whatever height you want. I never thought about how difficult it probably was, and Brad hadn't ever said anything about how difficult it is for him in the shower with the balance problem. And he took a shower with that bench today and didn't. What did you think of that, hon? I, you know, I liked it. I mean, it, uh, you know, it, it took me a little bit to get used to how to get in and out. Well, um, this bathtub, bathtub here in this uh, trailer is very narrow. Very, very narrow. But it was very nice. Wasn't yes, it a game it changer? And what? Wasn't it a game changer? Yes, it was. You know, um, and yeah, yeah. Um, so if you are are somebody, or you know somebody who, like I said, they're only thirty dollars on Amazon, and the feet also have suction cups on them, and um, it's very nice. You know, it's, as long as you have, um, you know, the shower. The type of shower head that, that has the long hose and stuff like we do. Um, so, yeah. Um, you know, what you got to make sure you're safe as possible. It's like when we book hotel room, we book, if we can, handicap accessible. Um, and I like that because it also gives us a chance to see what different kind of, of safety rails and that kind of stuff they have that we will want. To put in our home. So, you know, um, we've been lucky with that. We did go ahead and rent. I don't know if I had told you guys or not, but we did go ahead and uh, rent a minivan. We said we were going to all cram together in the cab of the budget uh, rental moving, moving truck. Um, after thinking about it, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, man, I think that's just going to be way too cramped. And then I got to thinking, how were we going to, when one of us were going to open up the door on either side, we've got to try and contain two dogs, two big dogs, and have a cat in a bag on my lap. And then anything that we're going to need. And it's like, hmm. And I'm like, I just don't think. The dogs are going to be fairly traumatized, as well as the cat. I don't, there are precious cargo, you know, we don't want anything to happen to them. And um, so we decided to go ahead and rent a minivan. And I that's why I have baby gates, and I can put a separator between the front seat and the back seat, which will lay down anyway. Um, so the dogs can have a nice blanket spread out. Uh, the cat can be on the passenger side of uh, the, in front, uh, you know, in her ventilated bag. And that way I can put another baby gate to the very back cargo area where we'll have the stuff that we need right away. And that way also, hadn't thought of it until this evening, I had finished booking, we had three motels. Um... And, um, I was trying to think of, I don't, I, I was thinking of something else. Obviously, it was not the right thing, but I was thinking of something else. Um, I was thinking that maybe I got the dates wrong. I don't think I did, but I'm going to check this while I talk to you guys. Um, I think I'm just sick of it. I just want to make sure I, I have everything correctly. I do. I do. I do. Okay. I was worried I had booked the wrong date because um, we have three motel rooms. One for, you know, the first night and then the second night, of course, and then the third night when we're actually there. But, you know, we, we'll just have our stuff unloaded. But we might not have the bed set up or anything, so um, then uh, we um, won't really have uh, 
um, we'll have to set up beds and, and all that stuff, even though the truck will be unloaded. So, um, I was booking those and I forgot where I was going with this. I don't know either. I'm so tired and so is Brad, you know, and my arms hurt really bad because, of course, okay, I'm sorry, I know this is all over the place, but you guys are used to that with me. Um, I go in to work in the art room, right? Because I'm still packing that <laughs> up. <laughs> and, of course, I got to pack up all of my artwork, right? <laughs> and, of course, it's got to be the biggest pieces. And I got to have the biggest, most hard to work with box that was actually the bo outside box of that we bought boxes. So it's this long piece, right? This long rectangle upright. Yeah. Anyway, so I've got these two great big portfolios. And then I've got great big paintings and everything. And then I have some artwork from when the kids were little and stuff that, you know, I'm not going to let go of for a bunch of Sundays. And so I'm wielding that around. And then, of course, the next box is the biggest box. And I got to put all the heavy photo album, picture frame. Um, you know, high school yearbooks. Yeah. So, not lifting that. Of course, I lifted all of the heavy art pieces. So, my arms are killing me. Yes, they are. But look at this. I got pretty big guns for a woman and stuff. Of course, I used to lift. You know. Back down here. This is... <laughs> I know. But I do have quite a bit of my, I think that's why my arms hurt so much, because, you know, I used to love to lift. Anyway, I'm going to get in better shape when I, we get moved and get settled and stuff. We're both going to work on that. Um, we finally discovered that Brad's, we think his blood sugar is out of whack. Well, we know it is. He's been taking his stuff, but, you know, it's too late to really get with our doctor. I don't know why she didn't go with that more. We can get more proactive with that. Kind of had trouble. We really liked her, but had trouble getting her really be very proactive with Brad's um, health concerns as is. So, um, uh, we're going to get, you know, our next doctor can be a lot more proactive. Because you wouldn't see somebody with Brad's um, physical health having to carry the way it has and not have your normal family doctor be a lot more proactive. So, um, you know, I'm kind of irritated about that. I think he is too. I am. He has an appointment Monday, though, with the disability doctor, and it's the same one that saw him before, and I think he's going to be very shocked at how much Brad is, at how far down Brad has gone. You know, and he didn't think Brad could work before, and that was four years ago. He could, I think he's going to be quite surprised, honey. I did, yeah. But that's okay, because we really need Brad to get some help and stuff. Um, my blood sugar, my glucose numbers were going up. And you have to be so careful now, guys. And I started eating granola bars. And... I liked them too much. And so I was eating a few too many, too often. Numbers were going up, so I just stopped eating them. Now I eat rice cakes, which gives me the same satisfaction, that sweet kind of crunch. They're a lot lower in carbs. And I don't eat them every night, every other or else I will eat them um, for breakfast instead. That's that kind of been my go-to for in the bre for in the morning and stuff. Have that with just a little bit of peanut butter on them, and it's a good protein and a good carb. And you know, then if I have a, like a banana or something with it, I'm good.
good to go. On the road, we're going to buy pre-made protein shakes. That I think that'll be a good choice. We don't want to do donuts or anything like that. Um, and you know, and then some healthier snacks like some nuts and uh, you know the peanut butter, some fruit. Um, that'll be good. You know, plus we'll have the puppies with us and the cat. And I got her some disposable cat pans. I've never used those before, but I thought that will be kind of nice. And then I did upgrade. I always wanted one of those kind of shifter cat litter boxes where you just take and you manually shift it. And it has two, cake or two cat pans, so then, you know, you'll put it in a clean one and then, and then uh, underneath and all that. And so I'm going to give my daughter the one that Angel has now is a hooded, just your normal cat litter box and I'm going to clean it out really well and bleach it and the whole work and then um, I asked my daughter if she wanted because she has four cats and she said yeah yeah that'd be great because I only have one right now she had two but then when they went in the bus and then uh, stuff they they only have the one so um, you know if I can I like to give stuff to somebody who can use it instead of throwing it away so I give that to her and I'll use the shifter one. I thought about getting one of those, you know, I, I wouldn't because they're too pricey for me, but one of those ones that automatically does the cat litter. But, you know, my cat's 18 years old, and I don't know if we'll have any more or not after after she, because of Brad's allergies. So, um, but Brad's making rice for the puppies, and we're using up the rest of their chicken that we've cooked for them and then they're just going to be using some pouches um, that we bought of uh, the moist dog food until we get settled. And then I'll cook them up some more. Right to Charlie Ann? They're not near as frantic as they were before when we started with boxes. Come on, sweetie pie. Come on, Charlie. Come on. Because I think because we took them on that vacation and stuff so now they know that they're going with us, or they think they're going with us wherever we go. And I told my daughter, too. She has a little dog I just love to death, a little beagle. His name is Burke. And it's really a sweet story that my daughter used to work for the state of Wyoming for years and years and years, like 13 years. And they got a call in their office that this woman said, look, my next door neighbors moved out, but they left dogs. I'm not sure what to do. Well, the people in, in the office decided they were all going to kind of just go get these dogs and adopt them all. And that's what they did. So my daughter went and picked out this little male dog. And come on, Charlie. And uh, he'd never been out of a cage or anything. And... And he's just a neatest little dog, and he just loves, of course, he loves coming over here. And he gets along well with our dogs, and he really loves the treat, and he really loves, because, you know, if you're at our house, if we're eating, you're eating. If my dogs are getting fed, your dog's getting fed, too. <laughs> and so he caught on real quick to the fact that, when it was dinner time, that he was going to get fed along with our dogs, the same stuff, and he would go running out there before they even made it out to the kitchen. So, and I told her, I said, you got to bring him over when you come over, or if you guys are going to be gone very long, bring him over. And Brad said, that that's a perfect solution. He goes, he, he said, that kind of takes place of a small dog for you. And it's like, yeah, you're right, because, you know, I miss my little dog and, and stuff, and, and so this is, you know, and I really loved CJ before she passed away, who, you know, she was the, our diaper wear and dog beagle, so, yeah. I'm getting excited about moving, y'all. I keep looking at the video and looking at the video. Um, uh, I would show you guys all the video, uh, except for... Um, it has the address at the very end, and I really 
don't want that. Um, we're going to have a P.O. box when we get there because it's going to be a central, like, mail station. And it's like what we had out in Barnard when we lived out in Wyoming. If that's not ready yet, that's how new this, this little community is. We're out in the country. So let's go into the into town and get a P.O. box for about three months or so. And that's fine. And we might just keep it. Depends on, you know, if I'm if I'm gonna be getting set much or anything. Um, you know, might be safest so I don't know. I haven't been too worried about it. I'm a small enough channel that I don't really feel like I need to worry about it. So um yeah, everything's a mess, so. Mm mm mm. Just nowhere to put anything, people. Oh, Lord. And it's been so swollen and stuff, too. Um. What else, honey? I think you pretty much covered it all. I just. Both you and I are chomping at the bit on getting up there. We are. I am excited, excited, excited. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I'll show you guys when we, we, you know, I hope do a little bit of filming along the road and stuff, um, you know. And, of course, I'll film when we get there and stuff. Um, <clears throat> basically, once we get the house all put together. You're you know. uh, not going to be able to film while you're driving. Well, no, because that's not good to do. Nope. <laughs> and, uh, I don't want you to become a statistic. No, no, no. No, but when we stop and well, yeah. stuff. Okay? Okay. Mr. Duty Head? I know, that's me. Mr. Duty Batuti? That's me. I better be nice. He's heating me up some soup. We're fixing to eat the rest of the chicken noodle soup. And um, the he made homemade chicken noodle soup the other night. And, um, a hot cup of coffee. And the cat's crying. <coughs> Gee, that's a surprise. Can I have some much? Uh, did you heat up coffee? That's what I'm working on now. Can you, um, put some hot chocolate in it? Sugar-free hot chocolate? I can do that. Thank you. Anyway, that's what we got going on. It's all this craziness. Um, very excited. Uh, and, oh, oh, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. <sighs> okay, so, yesterday, Mr. Heidi had a number of places to call to disconnect our internet service, right? Disconnect our, um, electricity, and then to call for the internet up there. He was going to call, I think, on the electricity and stuff, but we never, the day was done by the time we got done with the internet cable provider, right? Okay, I'm not going to say what company it is, because they're all pretty much kind of the same, for the most part. And then they charge way too much. So, one quote, they were going to charge us $110 or something for just a basic line of cable and basic internet. We said that was too much. We've been paying around 180, which is way too much. And we wanted to greatly reduce that. Then, this guy was a real kind of, he was a real ass. So, we hung up from him and we call another one and um, very limited on who we can choose from since we're out in the country. And, um, he quotes us, and it's with the same company, and it's going to be even, even more. It's like $157, and it's like, whoa, 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 wait. The other guy said the internet was going to be X amount. Because then we want just internet, and he said it was going to be over, like, $100 a month. It's like, wait. The other guy said it was going to be like $55 a month. 
oh, well, you know, for just basic bear in the fight, that's what we want. There's only two of us. It's not like we're gamers or anything. We're not going to be, you know, streaming anything. We just, you know, need enough to, to you know, do Facebook and, and YouTube and, and watch some Netflix. And, but it took over two hours with these two yahoos. I mean, I couldn't, I mean, Rome was built faster. I'm like, nobody got time for this. But we finally got it done. It's like, jeez. You know, it's like we just wanted just, you know, <laughs> to get some internet. And then we saw where it's a company called Philo. It's F-H-I-L-O. And you can get, like, I think it was like 55 channels for like 20 bucks a month. You get a free trial period. So that's what we're going to try because... You get like your A and E, your TLC, you get your Discovery, your MTV. I don't know. I think it had some kids show uh, channels on there and stuff. And it's like that's all we need. We don't need, you know, nine times out of ten, there's nothing on anyway. And most of your shows that you watch, you can pick up on YouTube. So I mean, and if I'm watching it on YouTube. Nine times out of ten, I don't have to have your commercials. So, anyway, glad we finally got that taken care of. So, that's all we've got taken care of. Our pharmacists, well, we're going to miss our pharmacists so much. We really bust their butt, getting all our prescriptions, as many as they possibly could, filled for us. So, we have a good supply for a couple of months. And so we can get new doctors and stuff and get our, our insurance switched and everything. So everything's coming together, right, hon? Yes, it is. Brad's doing okay. We, you know, we've had to take a big step back both physically for both of us with my breathing and my arm and shoulder trouble and with his balance and his hip and, and, and back pain. I think sometimes maybe the hip hurts more than, than the back. Or am I wrong? No, it does. Yeah, because it's definitely probably going to have to have a hip replacement. I don't know. But we're going to get it handled. That's part of the reason I wanted to get in this mobile home and stuff. Cause if it has to have a hip replacement, then we'll be, you know, or whatever has to happen with that, we'll be okay. So, daughter's very happy about us getting down there. So... Anyway, I will keep you guys abreast to what's going on. I probably will make a video Monday night because, you know, if I have time. I don't know. If not, I will try to squeeze one in there because, uh, you know, Monday night we got to go pick up the minivan. And then Tuesday morning we got to pick up the moving truck. And then beat cheeks back here to meet the movers so so anything else hon no sweetie i think we got it out so i love you guys and i do cherish your friendship so very much but i'm gonna go take a nice shower here in a little bit after dinner and remember i love you guys and i think you're awesome say bye brad bye brad bye guys